Good day everyone! My name is Sir Lambert and I am here with you with this instructional video on our science grade 10 for week number 3. Still in our topic about distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts. In this video, we'll be having the general instructions on how to do learning task 6, 7, 8, and 9. Before we proceed to the concepts and to the intended task for the week, let us first have a short recall on the things that transpired during the past two weeks. During week 1, you have simulated triangulation method and locate the epicenter of an earthquake using information from three different seismic stations. Triangulation method and the study of earthquake lay the foundation on the things we are learning on this first quarter module. Then, you have studied the graph on the time difference between primary and secondary wave from an earthquake. And of course, last week, you have supplied needed information about the terms related to earthquake and to the study of earth science. Now, let us proceed. In the next few slides, I will show you a map of the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts all over the world. And as we try to look at them, try to see any pattern or any similarity. In this first picture, you can see the map of earthquake distribution. It contains all of the recorded earthquakes for the past decades. Earthquakes are represented by blue dots, while those yellow lines signifies weak earthquake activities. In this next picture is the map of volcano distribution. It shows us the volcanoes present all over the world. Volcanoes are represented by very small red triangles. And as you can see, between this picture and the first one a while ago, they show similarities. Wherever there are earthquakes, there are also volcanic activities. Volcanic activities in this picture also created line patterns, just like the earthquakes in the, on the first picture a while ago. And for this last picture, this contains the major mountain belts. It shows us the all of the mountain ranges or major mountain belts across all continents. And as you can see, they also create patterns just like the volcanoes and earthquakes. There are certain areas where major mountain belts are present. These areas also have earthquake activities in them. Now, uh, if we will try to get a marking pen or a highlighter and draw lines between the patterns created by earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain belts, we might come up with this uh, kind of map. A map that shows us demarcation lines between huge masses of land or boundaries between uh, huge masses of land. And within, within these uh, boundaries or lines, earthquakes, volcanoes, or volcanic activities and uh, creation of uh, uh, mountain ranges are happening. Now, scientists theorize that this is because of the interaction between these huge masses of land. Scientists call this as plate tectonics. 
it is a theory which uh, suggests that Earth's crust is made up of plates that interact in various ways, thus producing earthquakes, mountains, volcanoes, and other geologic features. So, all of the earthquakes, all of the mountains, and volcanoes, and several geologic features are occurring because of the interaction of these uh, plates, or what do we call as huge masses of land. Now, if we will try to define plates, these are not dinner plates. So, hindi ito yung plato na kung yun ang ibig sabihin natin. No. If we are talking about plates, these are huge masses of land or rigid sections of the lithosphere that move as a unit. Now, the outermost uh, layer of the Earth's lithosphere is, of course, uh, the crust. And according to these uh, experts, these crusts are made up of huge masses of land or are made up of plates. So uh, if this is the Earth's crust, it is made up of plates. And for the information of everyone, crust is not a whole all throughout. It composed of pieces. So, in Tagalog, yung crust na alam natin, hindi siya buo. It is uh, composed of several huge masses of land. And these uh, huge masses of land have boundaries between them. And along those boundaries, kadalasan, nandun yung mga tinatawag nating earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or volcanic activities, and of course, building or creation of mountain ranges. And as of now, there are seven relatively large plates and a number of smaller ones, including the Philippine plate. Now let us uh, try to see this picture. The picture contains uh, all of the major plates across the Earth's lithosphere. And some smaller plates are uh, also uh, listed in this uh, picture. Plates such as uh, Eurasian plate, North American plate, uh, the Pacific plate, Indo-Australian plate, Antarctic plate, uh, South American plate, African plate are considered as huge masses of land or huge plates, while some plates such as Arabian plate, Nazca plate, and the Philippine plate, which is not uh, listed here, are considered as uh, smaller uh, ones as compared to these uh, large plates. So the Earth's lithosphere is not a whole, or the Earth's crust is not a whole all throughout. It composed of a uh, huge masses of land. And these huge masses of land, sabi ko nga kanina, uh, inulit ko lang, this... Uh, this move as a single unit and interact, of course, with other, other uh, plates. And because of these interactions, earthquakes, volcanic activities, and uh, the creation of uh, mountain belts are occurring. Now, if you want to uh, get a clearer picture of the different plates across the Earth's lithosphere, you might try to uh, look at this one. So, uh, remember that uh, the plates are uh, marked by uh, demarcation lines. Can you see where the Philippine archipelago is? 
So this is the location of the Philippines. So beside the Philippines, on the right is uh, the Philippine plate. And on the left side of the Philippines or uh, on the plate where the Philippine archipelago is standing, that is uh, known as the Eurasian plate. So what do these demarcation lines represent? Of course, I have said that a while ago that these are uh, plate boundaries. And when, when we are talking about plate boundaries, these are uh, the, the edges where two plates meet. And along these uh, edges, along these uh, boundaries, kadalasan, sabi ko nga kanina, nandun yung earthquake, volcanic activity, and of course, yung major mountain belts. So, ito na. Let us proceed to the learning tasks that are assigned to us this week. So, in this uh, last segment, I will try to help you answer all of the given tasks for this week. You can uh, see this learning task on page 13 to 15 of your, of your uh, learner's module. For learning task number 6, you can uh, find there a Philippine map which shows us the location of active volcanoes, earthquake-prone areas, and mountain ranges in the Philippines. Your task is to uh, simply uh, write down or list down the active volcanoes present in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. You uh, can consult this picture or uh, you may also consult other science books, internet sources such as the website of PVOX. Or you can, can also consult your uh, previous uh, notes during your grade 9 science class. For learning task number 7, uh, using the world map, uh, locate and list down the location of active volcanoes, earthquake zones, and mountain ranges in the world. So you can find there the uh, world map, the location of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and mountain ranges in different continents. And uh, after locating and uh, marking the location of these uh, of these uh, geologic processes and features, uh, please answer the questions one to three uh, after the map of the location of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, mountain ranges in different continents. For uh, learning task number 8 naman, you have to complete the concept map. Uh, please uh, do it in a clean band paper. The concept map will be about the earthquake prone areas, active volcanoes, and mountain ranges present all over the Philippine archipelago across Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. You uh, can uh, consult the picture a while ago in learning task number 6, or you uh, could also uh, try to get information from the website of PVOX or other internet resources or other science book that you have. For uh, learning task number 7, your uh, task is uh, to draw a simple map and uh, describe the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquakes epicenter, and uh, major mountain belts in Calabar zone. So uh, this uh, area will be, uh, of course, is composed of uh, Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, and Quezon. So draw, draw nyo lang yung map, and you mark, uh, you mark the where is the location of uh, active volcanoes and earthquake prone areas and of course the uh, major mountain belts in Calabar zone. So uh, yun lang, that's it. Thank you for your time and I hope I have uh, guided you enough on uh, how to do the intended task uh, for the week. If you have uh, additional queries and questions, 
you uh, can uh, post it there sa ating uh, messenger group or uh, you could uh, PM me directly sa ating uh, FB messenger and I'll be uh, opening the lines of communication uh, between us and uh, I will try to uh, answer all the queries, clarifications or uh, issues that uh, you might uh, encounter in uh, answering the learning tasks for the week. So all I can say is uh, goodbye and remember to uh, stay curious and keep exploring.